What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today marks day number five of posting on YouTube every single day until we hit 10,000 subscribers. And as you guys know, I like to bring you as much value as humanly possible in regards to tips, tricks, and techniques in bettering your detailing business and bettering you as a person and an entrepreneur. Today, I stumbled upon an awesome detailing setup out of a sedan, and I'm a huge fan and advocate for mobile detailing. That's how I started my detailing journey. I believe that you should work with whatever it is that you have. You don't need to have that pressure on you of getting a Ford Transit van or a Mercedes Sprinter van or some elaborate trailer setup. I believe you should work with whatever you have. So check out this sedan setup. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Um, it looks very similar to another setup that I posted before in the past. It does look like it might have been inspired or even maybe built by Revive Auto Detailing. But regardless, this guy at Royal Touch Detailing deserves all the credit. It's an awesome setup. Feel free to show him your support by giving the video a like and also checking out his channel and giving him a follow as well. Together, we can grow this detailing community and grow it as an industry, helping each other out. This way we can all thrive and get that money. Pressure washer reel. Uh, 25 foot extension uh, cord reel right here. So this will be used for my vacuum, steamer, extraction, anything you need to hook up the power to. And then this is my tornador with the air compressor reel, 50 foot as well. So this tornador will shoot a little tornado into the carpet and it'll be a lot easier to, uh, to lift up anything and vacuum that out. Um, I do have little organizer here of some towels that I have. It's not sucked up right now. I am washing a few of them, but I do have drying towels, um, a lot of auto fiber products here, um, detailing towel, the no streak freak, um, window towels as well. And then I also have a clay bar mitt and I also have um, a bulk set of, um, so I didn't go ahead and go color, color coordinate all of that. But here I have a wide selection of brushes um a bucket with a grid guard my mccullough steamer is down there some extra gas just in case i need it for the uh for the generator while i'm on the job and then an extractor and just an order limiter kit right there but i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how everything works real quick um so i did uh, already have this on so let's switch to run Give me And the awesome part about this setup is that it's all controlled with its remote right here. So um, the extension cord hooks up to a surge protector that is right there that is connected to these channel um, outlets here that you connect each of these equipments to. So the pressure washer connected to one. So number one is my pressure washer. So you click number one and you have a full pressure washer right there, completely really functional. Number two is my Flexzilla extension cord reel here. Um, so there you go, you can see the light turns on. Um, this will be used for the vacuum, the steamer, the extraction, anything you need power, you connect it to here. And it is 25 foot um, extension cord reel, which is under here. Turn that one off. And then I do have the uh, air compressor. Sorry, it's a little loud. Right there in the back, so this will uh, build up the pressure for the tunnel door and the 50 foot uh, pressure. Um, yeah, the air hose rope right here. Um, so, my pressure washer is under here, as long as, as, as well as my uh, extension cord rail right there. And so, it is a super compact setup. Um, it works great, everything works. And um, if you have any questions, I'll go ahead and show this as well. This is how I refill my uh, my tank, as well as bucket filling. Please open that up. And it, that up. Um, but yeah, that is connected to the tank through there. Um, if you have any questions about my setup, you can go ahead and drop a comment in the, in the comment box, and 